Welcome back to a daily bedtime stories. Tonight's story is Memory Bottles by Beth Shoshan. Mr. McAllister has a shed at the end of his garden. I always see him go into his shed, and I often see him come out of his shed. But I still don't know what is in his shed. So one day I ask him, just like that, Will you tell me what's in your shed, Mr. McAllister? And he says that if I promise not to laugh at him, he'll share what is in there with me. Mr. McAllister's shed smells of old pipe. The light isn't as bright inside as it is outside, but I can just make out things shining on the shelves. Bottles! Mr. McAllister's shed is full of bottles. Red ones, frosted ones, tall ones, round ones, twisty ones, double ones, super skinny topped ones. Memories, Mr. McAllister says to his shed full of bottles. Each bottle holds exactly one of my most special memories. So when I'm old and I can't remember things, I just open a bottle and everything comes rushing back. And with that, Mr. McAllister pops open the frosted bottle and takes a long, deep breath. Ah, pressing my nose against a window, watching my father going to work, breathing on the glass, writing my name in the mist. So I grab the blue bottle and he flips off the, off the lid and sighs. Ooh, the first time I saw Mr. Mc, Mrs. McAllister at a dance with her big blue chiffon dress and her hair tied up in lots of bows. Then we grab the tall one. All right, scoring the goal in extra time to give Redbridge academicals victory in the pennant cup. And the round one? Yes! watching my children walking through the sea edge, then seeing their footprints stolen away by the waves breaking on the shore. And the twisty one? Mmm, the smell of cow slips on the mountain air after a five-hour climb to the top. And the double one? Aha! Playing aeroplanes in our freshly mown garden. Of my two grandchildren zooming overhead. And then, exhausted, we flop down in two old chairs and look at all the bottles on the shelves. And it's then that I saw one in the corner, which we hadn't opened yet. What's in the tall, skinny one, Mr. McAllister? He leaps out of his chair, sweeps the bottle off the shelf, and with his thumb pushes the cork out of the top, shouting, Today, I'm going to pop the memory of the day into this bottle. And we fell back into our chairs, <laughs> laughing. The End Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite.